Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations. My next guest is one of the world's most celebrated and loved chefs. He has one of the best jobs in the world. Travel through Italy, cook, eat, drink with Italians, and he's even managed to turn it into his own television program. Please welcome the star of the hit series, David Rocco's Dolce Vita, the man himself, David Rocco! You are uh, a thin man. Can you trust a thin chef? <laughs> now, you spend half your time in Canada, and then you spend the other half in, in Italy. In Florence. What a life. You it's really are bad. living Dolce, Dolce Vita, Vita. Aren't you? Yeah, I figured, you know, if a broadcaster can pay for me to go to Italy, hang out, eat, drink, it's not, it's not too bad. No, this isn't this yeah. is bad at all. <laughs> did you know you have these cooking skills early on? What did you uh, move beyond peanut butter and jelly and macaroni well, and cheese? Well, you know, that's interesting, because growing up, that's all I wanted to eat was peanut butter. Yeah. Because you know, in Toronto, I felt like the poor immigrant. So my mom would give us these sandwiches of rapini and provolone and focaccia, you know, with the, the paper bag would be oil stained and would be sent to school like that. And I'd like get my head kicked in, you know, because I was like the Italian. And I just wanted peanut butter and jelly. And so, uh, but you know, I always loved food. So that was a good way to learn and, you know, just yeah, start eating. <laughs> so what brings you down to Asia? Well, I'm in Singapore doing the World Gourmet Summit. We have a great awesome. evening uh, dinner where we're spraying a little Dolce Vita. And um, also I'm doing a workshop. I mean, Singapore is an amazing food town. Last night we went to this fantastic Indian restaurant, Little India. Yeah, And Excellent. it was great. You know, you eat on these banana leaves and with your hands and oh, it was amazing. And speaking of the little, uh, yeah, the little Dolce Vita, yeah, the, you get paid to travel around the world, yeah. eat food, have some nice drinks. What a yeah. gig! Not bad. And we just shot our fourth season, which will air later this year on the Travel and Living Discovery. That's terrific. Yeah. I noticed how you were very sweet in here, and you called out your wife. Yeah. Well, Who's... she's executive producer oh, well, and producer. Oh, so you I just... sleep with the producer. You know? Keeping so, a little harmony yeah. at home there. Yeah, huh? it's, uh, it's a dirty business. Yeah, that's all right. That works out well, yeah. though. I, uh, I don't sleep with our producer. He's no, not my type. No way. <laughs> so, Italian food, is there a particular favorite uh, dish? You know, it's funny because you introduced me as the chef. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my tagline when I first started out was, I'm not a chef, I'm Italian. Uh, right. Because it's kind of like it's in my <laughs> DNA. Like, what's the big deal? You know, you cut up some tomatoes, you cut up some, you know, some cheese, olive oil, and that's the dish. I mean, is that a recipe? Yeah. So, you know, and, and that's kind of the approach to our show in the book. It's really simple seasonal ingredients, how to assemble it, and make it in, in no time at all. So you go around Italy, you film there. Go you around Italy. So you gotta hang up some great stories from Italy, I bet. <laughs> Our home base is in Florence. Yeah. And so we mostly shoot the show in Florence, but then we go to the Amalfi Coast, which is fantastic. Ah, great area. Beautiful. And uh, Sicily as well, which there was a lot of interesting stories there. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Well, it was just funny things happen. So like in the Palermo market, it's a real tough market. And so I was told, you know, you can't go there with camera equipment because Basically, you'll turn around, you know, someone will say, uh, hey, look at that vest one, and your equipment's gone. So we went the one day and uh, to do some pre-scouting, and uh, someone introduces me to the Godfather. <laughs> so I say, hey, I'm just, you know, a little cooking guy, do a cooking show. He goes, oh, you know, Italian, I love food. You know, the guy's like 900 pounds. <laughs> and I'm like, thing. yeah, I love food. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Surprise! Exactly. So uh, I said, you know, we're doing a cooking show. We might need your assistance. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know, no problem. He goes, as long as you cook for me. <laughs> that so was it? I even became an extra on the show. And, uh, you know, it was funny. It was the smoothest shoot we ever had. You gotta let. So I hope yeah. he liked the food. I consider he did. you're sitting he, uh, here. I'm, I'm, I'm here and it went well. Uh, People are so fussy about food these days. There's all this. What's up with that? It's funny because when we were doing our second season, there was the whole Atkins diet. You know, carb. Uh, oh, no, there's not the carb. Yeah, yeah. So I said, screw it. I said to my stylist, make me a T-shirt that and write, I love carbs. So I did <laughs> an episode all on carbs, <laughs> and and you know Italians love their carbs, and it's all moderation. It's what you put on the carbs that really screws you up. Right. I forget what Italian actor it said. Uh, Italians have two things on their mind, and the second is pasta. Yeah, I mean, exactly. it, 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 you love. You love <laughs> pasta. I mean, you know, and carbs is important. Are you seeing more Asian cuisine uh, go to the West, being oh, more totally. of an influence? Well, there's that it's whole fusion more more thing, popular. which which is kind of cool, you know. But uh, even in my cooking now, I'm starting to experiment at home. So I'm doing risottos with you know curry risotto, 
and you know Ooh. playing around with coriander and different herbs so still maintaining you know tradition but once in a while kind of fool, fool around with different uh, herbs and spices so it's all cool. I, like I mean, that. cooking should be fun. I mean, gone are the rules where you have to have red wine with meat, white wine with fish. It's like leave us with that part of what is the secret behind great Italian food. I keep playing the Italian. Yeah. Thing. You want to talk about Canadian food? Uh, is there really any specific <laughs> Canadian food? Uh, poutine. It's uh, it's um, French fries with uh, cheese and gravy, and it's. It's really wow. good, but you feel mm. disgusting after you eat it. Mounties, that just yeah. loads up the maple leaves. Yeah, exactly. But uh, no, what's Canadian food? Hmm. Gee, I don't know. Maple syrup, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. about it. Yeah, you know, I'm going to go back and uh, does your show air in uh, Canada? Yeah, it will now. <laughs> yeah, now exactly. that you've been on here, they're going to say, get Asia Uncut on the Kick air in his Canada. ass for saying we have no food in Canada. No, you know, it has great, uh, great ethnic groups and um, a lot of, you can have almost anything there. Yeah, but there's nothing really Canadian. So the book is David Rocco's Dolce Vita. The TV show is the same. I love that. Yeah. Consistency. People yeah. are going to get that confused. That was my, my wife. She's got, got to put your name on the show. You, you like all that? all about that branding. And you're very bright today, by the way. Yeah, well, I figured with, you know, 38 degree temperatures, you know, I should kind of just all, had, all white. You had to go for the white. Exactly. Speaking of Italy, we have a little message. You've seen The Godfather. So yes. we got to, where is this little thing here? It's starting to stink. <laughs> Oh. Thought we'd, uh, we thought we'd leave this. Yeah, is this a message from This is a message from that man. Yeah, I think if you exactly. say too much, it reveal the exactly. identity. That's all yours. Very good. Very yeah. good. Excellent. Well, David, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. it thanks cool. for coming on to thanks. Asia Uncut. Excellent. <laughs> all right. Thanks to all my guests tonight. Tune in to Asia Uncut. Until next week, keep it uncut. If you like your Asia Uncut, visit here. Asia Uncut, brought to you by Electronic Arts and Crown Relocations.